Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and today we're going to talk about using a 3D mouse inside a SketchUp. Okay, so before we go any further, it's disclaimer time. A 3D mouse is not required to use SketchUp. You don't have to use it inside a SketchUp. In fact, most people use SketchUp their entire careers using just the scroll wheel right here, and that works just fine. Um, a lot of people, though, get to that point where they kind of feel like they've plateaued in SketchUp. Like, I'm as good as I can get. I've learned everything I can. Um, this is where I'm going to be in SketchUp. Like, they're, 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 they're at the, the top, and they, they don't see themselves improving. That's when, you know, alternative workflows and maybe some additional hardware can help you get a little bit better. The nice thing about a 3D mouse, and we'll look at this, is it's something that, as a designer, it can make you a little bit faster. Um, it can also take your presentations. If you show people SketchUp, it can give you some, some tools to make your presentations even better. So uh, I, we don't sell 3D mice. This is from a company called 3D Connection. Um, you know, I personally don't get anything when someone, anybody buys anything, but I'm an advocate of them because I think as far as hardware goes, it's a great way to make yourself quicker, better at SketchUp and make your presentations look better. Um, so I'm not going to go into details or anything like that, but I, I actually have two 3D mice. One is this one is just the, just the little puck and it's got like a button or two on the side. I use this when I travel. This is usually just in my bag. And then I have the Space Mouse Enterprise you guys have seen probably on the live streams. Uh, that's a piece of hardware I use every day when I do modeling. So we're going to go through and just, I'm just going to hit the high points about why you might want to look into them. They are an investment. You have to spend some money on them, but if SketchUp is uh, something you're using every single day, like I am, uh, it's worth it for me to spend a little bit to get just that much more out of my design time or process. Uh, so that's enough talking. Let's hop in and take a look at how it works. All right, so obviously we have a 3D mouse here on the screen, but um, we're gonna have to use a little bit of production here to get, boom, look at that. Look at that super fuzzy. It's really hard to do a reflective thing on a green screen background because it reflects all the green. There's green all around me and it's showing up on the shininess right here. But this is the Space Mouse Enterprise. This is what I was talking about. This is what I use every day. So we're gonna talk about how this works. So one of the questions, one of the questions we get the most common through the videos is how do I move around so smoothly inside of SketchUp? So if I was to take this mouse as my standard mouse and just use the scroll wheel on SketchUp, of course, I would get looks like this. You know, this is this is normal. Everybody uses SketchUp's used to this, this view. This is what happens. Um, if I come over here though and I put my hand on the 3D mouse, the, the main part, there's a lot of buttons here, we'll talk about that in a second. The main part though is this puck in the middle. So this puck is set up that as I move it, it's gonna move the model around. So it doesn't take much. You can see, you can hardly tell that I moved it, but if I if I push on the edge here, it's gonna rotate up. If I pull down, it's gonna rotate that way. And same thing, I can pan left and right by touching it. And then as I rotate the puck, it'll rotate around. So this just takes a little bit of practice. Okay, this takes a, a, a decent amount of practice, um, but once you get used to it, moving through the model is super quick and super easy. So I can just kind of, buzz around here and I don't even really think about it too much. It's like become a hand-eye coordination. Oh look, this is a model I downloaded from the 3D warehouse. Like you can tell the, well, the shadow of the person taking the picture with their phone to model this from. Um, <laughs> that's kind of cool. Easter egg. Well, it's not an Easter egg now. I just pointed it out. So this is one of the big pieces. This is what uh, one of the things I use the 3D mouse for is moving through. So one of the nice things is, see over here, see my cursor's moving around right here. As I move with the 3D mouse, this cursor is available to do whatever I need to do. So if I want to come up here and grab the paint bucket while I'm zooming in on something, I can do that. Uh, I want to close that while I'm zooming out. So basically what I ended up doing is I just gave myself two hands inside of SketchUp. So this hand can run around and grab tools, uh, pull up information. Um, I can actually do that while so I can change which, which one I want to look at. Um, as I'm spinning in 3D space. This is the kind of stuff, It's it takes a little bit of practice, but you actually kind of end up with, like I said, two hands inside of SketchUp this way. The other thing is, so this is a sacrifice right here. So this, this hand right here, my left hand, is normally the hand that's over here on my keyboard pressing shortcut keys, right? So 
this hand, my right hand that you can't see is on the mouse, obviously. That's moving around. That's that's I don't ever lose that. So this is the hand that's gonna actually come in here when I start drawing. It's gonna, you know, click and draw these lines, that sort of thing. Um, it's also gonna grab tools up here. So I'll put a circle in, I'm gonna go grab that. That's still happening. But this hand is responsible. So I, 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 when I'm using three mouse, I rarely go into orbit. Occasionally, as I'm doing this, I'll get impatient. And, and one of the things you can do while you're in using a 3D mouse is you can still use the scroll wheel so I can shoot in real quick. So there is a speed at which it zooms. And I can just kind of do a jump, quick jump by scrolling in or out as I'm using the 3D mouse also. So I do that a little bit, but most of the animation, most of the orbiting is done using the 3D mouse. So that's that's nice. One of the things like I said I lose is this hand comes off the keyboard. So where I was over there typing in, you know, hitting the hotkeys, my, my shortcut keys for different commands, um, that's gone because I'm over here. And this is where something like this, the larger mouse, as opposed to the smaller mouse, so I do still, this is still here. So if I'm traveling, I can still, you know, I can just plug this in. This takes up no room in my bag. Um, but for regular workflow, the nice thing here is that I can program all these keys. There's something like, I don't know, each of these keys can be programmed twice for just a tap and a tap and hold. So I end up with like 40 or 50 short, more shortcut keys than more shortcut functions than I can actually use. But here I can do stuff like, um, I want to grab the uh, circle tool here. I actually have a shortcut key. So if I hit this key right here, it brings up the shortcut key for circle. Pretty cool. Um, so if I want to bring up the measure tool, I can click right there, bring up the measure tool. So tools that I use a lot are on here. The other thing that's on here, which is kind of nice, is my arrow keys. So again, this is custom programmed. When you get a, a 3D mouse, you have driver software you run, and you can program these buttons. Even a little tiny one that's just the puck has a button or two on the side that can be programmed. Um, but this is nice because as I start drawing a line right here, again, my hand's not on the keyboard to hit the up, left, and right buttons, but uh, I've programmed them here so I can actually, oh, that was the wrong button. So I can actually switch between those toggles just using these buttons here. So the other one that I'm nice on here, it, it does have over on the left side, I have the modifier key. So I have shift, control, uh, option or alt, uh, space bar, escape, delete, enter. All those buttons are here. So if I ever want to like lock into an angle, I can hit the shift key here. Really cool, really simple. Um, again, escape, so I can get out of a command right here on the keyboard. So that's kind of the reason for, again, if if you're going to be modeling and you're spending a large amount of time modeling, it's worthwhile investment because, as, and then like I said, the other thing is this animating in 3D, moving around, your model orbiting is something that you know we get used to as as SketchUp users. We're used to this, and it is quick. It is easy. It's simpler than a lot of other tools where I have to use a combination of uh, you know mouse buttons and clicks and holds and that kind of stuff. Moving with just this middle mouse button, the scroll wheel, is super easy. But this can be a little jarring to someone who doesn't know what they're seeing. This, on the other hand, well, that's that a good pun. The other hand, my left hand, is nice and smooth. It's much less, I don't want to say upsetting, but it's less jarring. It's a little bit easier to take in as you move around in 3D space. So, something to consider. Um, if you do a lot of presentations, that kind of thing, uh, I think it's something that pays for itself pretty quick. If you're showing your, your client your designs, it makes your designs look better because they're moving through it in a way that's easier to understand and it's a little bit smoother and less. I mean, you don't want to show somebody, you know, a job you've been working on for them and have it be jarring and like upsetting <laughs> as they move through it. So <clears throat> just wanted to hit a high level. We get so many questions about 3D mouse. And like I said, I am an advocate for it. We personally, Trimble doesn't sell 3D mice. We don't make 3D mice. We don't make any money off anybody who buys 3D mice. This is purely me coming at you saying, if you use SketchUp a lot, it may be worth it to look into a 3D mouse. So if you watch our live streams on Fridays, um, I use it just about every time. Um, I've done a couple times where I don't, or if, if we use like 
the the web version that doesn't have plugins extensions yet then then you know then I stick with the no normal ones if i'm traveling sometimes i will you know just use the mouse or use the touchpad but if i'm really serious about designing something it's pretty hard to beat that control that you get with it and then adding on top of that the, the shortcut keys are programmed in there uh worth checking out so a lot of people have questions that's why i made the videos to answer as many of those questions as we possibly could I uh, hope you liked that video. If you liked it, click like down below. And if you don't already, please subscribe. We create several videos a week and you'll be notified of any of those videos as they come out if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please leave us a comment. Do you use a 3D mouse? What do you like about it? Do you have questions about it? Is there other hardware you'd like to hear about? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.